Hello everybody. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm pretty good. Uh, today's video I'm going to be doing a Tingle Bites and I am doing the country of, well, the land of Austria. So, um, that's what it says on here. Uh, and it's from my good friend Harold. I've been friends with Harold for about, mm, no, over three years. And he sent me a package a long time ago, and um, he also sent me music with it, but uh, the music ended up being uh, copywritten, so uh, needless to say, I'm going to be doing a new video for Austria, and I'm really excited because he included a lot of really yummy looking things, so this is what uh, the box looks like. And let's see, this is what the inside looks like. So, uh, Harold also made um, a couple of eggs, and I'm going to try not to say um, I noticed that I do that after I'm doing it, and it's so annoying. So, Harold also included some essences or um, essential oils, I guess you would say. And he made one specifically and it's called, so these are the essences here. Um, and he put a little unicorn on this one, which is adorable, but it's just for the whispering unicorn. So it's pretty exciting got some plastic or uh, bubble wrap around it. Okay, and here's some music. More music. Okay, so he also has a written description of everything. He did a good job of doing that last time too. And there's so many ways that I want to eat this. Okay, so Harold's also really good at taping <laughs> because this is incredibly hard to get into. Let's see, this one is. Man. Man. Mandarin root, I think it says rot. I'm assuming that's root. This one is Tonka extract. And like I said, this one is a mixture. Let's see. But this is about eating, so you know, I'm gonna go into that. start off with this right here because it's adorable. It has a little man on it. Little man. Sorry about my nails. You guys know that I am uh, very bad about that. I hope to god this has a cherry in it. I hope to So dark chocolate, obviously. I'm hoping. Give me a cherry. No cherry, but it's okay. I think it has um cherry flavor in it though. That's really good. So I think there's some kind of uh, peanut butter or marzipan, I'm not sure. And then there's a milk chocolate that tastes like it is infused with cherry. I don't know. Sorry. I don't know why I have a thing with cherries now, but I do. Anyways, 
that was a soft, delectable, delicious, uh, goodness in my mouth. So, <laughs> what a horrible description. It was soft chocolate and everything in it was, um, kind of mushy. So it was really good. The consistency was soft. It'll get better as we go along, people. It'll get better. Oh my god, there's so many wafers. <sighs> That's how excited I am. I just dropped it. Okay, so this is called Whammerween. Whammerween. Whammerweimer. Whammerweimer. Whammerween. By Zitron. Naturalic. Fruit Tiger. Meat. Zitron. Citrona soft. Right on. This one's lemon. This one is vanilla. Chocolate. Or actually, no, coconut. Cocos. Coconut. And chocolate. Chocolate. I don't know. So we're going to try those. I like that they're, um, you know, like vacuum packed. I like that. I like that they're bricks. It's bricks of delicious wafers. Oh my gosh. I'm like the wafer queen. <sighs> okay, so let's try the chocolate one. They're teeny. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, so here we go. It looks like there are four layers of wafer with uh, a paste in between each layer. I just love a good wafer, you know? So this is the cocos, so the coconut. Mm. So, it smells very much like coconut. I love coconut too. Um, so it smells like good old coconut, but it also tastes very strongly of coconut as well. A uh, light wafer taste, but I dig it. It's really, really sweet. It's delicious. And it is a soft wafer, so... Mm. Really good. These are the Wimmer wines. Okay, so the next one. This is chocolate. Chocolate. Wimmer wine. Again, four layers of crispy wafer and four layers of soft chocolate in between. Doesn't smell like chocolate like the other one. Smell like coconut, sorry. And it's a good blend. You can taste the wafer a little bit more in this one than the other one. I think coconut just in general is a pretty strong taste, so it kind of overwhelms other things. But okay. Next one is citron, kind of like citrus. It's lemon. I love that they're you know, compacted, or vacuum packed. It's really cool. Okay. There we go. And this one is the... Oh, that's very strong. So, that smells very strong. Yeah, lemon. Damn it. 
damn it. My sound went out, guys. So now I have to get my new sound. And I usually don't show this part, but I just realized that I was recording without my sound on and I don't know how long it's been off. So I'm gonna go and get my new sound card. Sorry, okay. And we're back. So this is the citrus one. And let's see. Okay. That's really good. So that's very fresh tasting. Um it tastes very much like citrus in specific uh lemon so that's actually a really nice taste it's not so sweet as it is kind of tangy good stuff okay okay so this is the last one this is the vanilla and Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> just really so, like, so you rip it off and then, hey there. Hey there, hi there. Okay, so let's see what this tastes like. This is the vanilla. And it is, uh, tastes kind of like a, I'm sure that it, it has to be like authentic, real. This is provided with the care of a family business. So I'm sure this is real vanilla. It tastes very strongly like vanilla extract almost. Pretty cool. So let's try it. Hmm. That's really good. I say that after every one of them. But that's because wafers are my, my shit. I love wafers. I don't know why. I've always liked those really cheap ones that come in America. Um, I'm sure that the wafers everywhere else are like... Like these. They're like glorious and beautiful and people are sipping hot $12 teas with them but here we have wafers that are hot pink and um, they have two layers <laughs> and they're strawberry and they're so good <laughs> and I drink it with a or I eat it with a Diet Coke so high class you know high class so that's the end of the wafers really good stuff thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you there all right, so the next thing I'm going to try, I'm a little nervous about this, only because I'm not a fan of, like, I don't know. We'll see. I bet it's going to be good, though. So, here we go. These are uh, Paris crepes, and it's probably not pronounced in, like, a French accent like I just did. Crepes for ease. Tomati and romarin. 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 <laughs> which means tomato and rosemary fill filling. I wasn't expecting little guys. Oh, these are like bite size. Cool. So this is what they look like. And it smells kind of like a pizza bite with rosemary. So let's try it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it tastes like pizza sauce wrapped in a crispy dough, like very thin um, layer of, I don't know how to describe it. So it's like a thin pastry with like pizza sauce in it, but like a very, it's like light flavored. It's not very intense. It's good. I bet it would be really good with like um, 
like a ranch dip. That was very American too, sorry. It'd probably be good with a, I don't know, some kind of really great dip. But it's, it, they're cute too. Is this like a snack there, like chips? I don't know, that's kind of cool. It's very fancy. I like it, I like it a lot. Next thing I'm gonna try is this drink and it is called um, Bio Brombeer Apple Limited Soft. So let's see what's going on with this. And I think I got two of these. So I'm just gonna open one and I'm gonna save the other one for later. It smells strongly of licorice. Which um, Maria sent me some gentle whispering. Uh, she sent me some drinks with um, licorice flavorings from Russia. Maybe it's similar. Bottle's pretty cool. Is this like a... It's vegan too. Cool. I'm hoping that this is drinkable and it's not some kind of um, sauce that you pour. So that's good. <laughs> like a marinade, you know? It smells like grape. Let's try it. Oh, that's good. That tastes very familiar. Is it apple? I can't tell, but it's good. It tastes like applesauce, kind of. I like it. I would say that it's more like a applesauce than licorice. I thought it was going to be licorice for some reason, but that's really good. I'm going to be enjoying that later. So we've got three things left and let's try this. This is a marzipan Z Zart Bitter. Zart Bitter. Chocolat Noir. like in the packaging. This is like a chocolate bar. And it smells like marzipan. <laughs> okay, so that's what the inside looks like. Okay, and let's try it. So that's better than other marzipan that I've had. Um, it kind of has like a coconut flair to it, which of course I like coconut, but this is super um, soft and the, the chocolate around it is really thin milk chocolate with a marzipan filling. That's really nice actually. And it's made by All, All Natura. All Natura. I don't know. Here's this thing and... I can't tell if I'm supposed to bake this, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to wait on this one because it is it looks like this, you know, and this and in uh, where I come from, this means that you bake this. So I am going to wait. It says it's perfect for desserts. Um, original Old Dense Marzipan. I'm going to wait on this one. Maybe I'll eat it in a little bit if I don't. I don't know. I'm going to read your letter again and make sure that I'm not supposed to cook that first. Because that would be embarrassing. Right? Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Anyways, it looks delicious. It's very soft, like marzipan is. And, um... So after looking back in the box, I realized that there's actually a different, a different flavor of drink. So... I only skip out on this, so I'm going to open this, and then I'll go to the last thing, which is this. And it looks so pretty, so I saved it for laugh. last. It's very cute. 
it's uh, Ildefonso. Ildefonso. So I know that a lot of people don't like specific sounds. It's probably 50-50 in terms of like people that like crinkles and plastic sounds and then people that really don't like it at all. But because this is um it's kind of like a multi incorporated sound video, I don't know. It's hitting all the genres of ASMR, so I try to do stuff that makes everybody happy. So I'm going to do this now. Something takes over me whenever I'm trying new foods, you know? Okay, so this one is uh, by the same brand. Haas and Haas Vine. W-I-E-N. Vine. Bio Helder Beer. Apple Soft. Apple Sauce. Is this Apple Sauce? Oh my god, I think I figured it out. I don't know. This one's in blue, though. And the liquid is... Wait, is that one in blue too? No, that one is in uh, like multicolored green, blues, and oranges. You know what too? I noticed how when people do like tapping on bottles, they're like, you know, oh, take it down a notch. Really caress your apple sphere, apple sphere. I'm just messing with you guys. Okay. See, you know what's weird about these is that they don't click open, you know? So, this is because, uh, my good friend Harold probably poisoned me. So, thanks. Okay. So this one smells more like berry. It is. It has to be. Because it tastes more like berry. I cannot read this at all. I am... I don't know. But it tastes like a blueberry, almost. It smells like berry. So I'm going to assume it is. It's very sweet, but in a natural, naturally sweetened way. Not like a... Um, like a coca-cola sweet or anything like that. It's more like a fruit juice. Great. I like this a lot. And I'm gonna save this for later. Sugar rush. Okay. So now I'm gonna try it's my next door neighbor. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi bitch. Okay, so here we go. It's such a delicate little Piece, isn't it? Boop boop. Ooh. Nur unge wonk like litre craft darf knock unge wall harkin finish raven. Can you read that? Yeah. In the back. Ooh, it's so pretty. I knew it would be, I knew it would be the best. So this is what it looks like. It smells kind of like peanut butter and chocolate. So maybe that's what that is. So chocolate, peanut butter. Let's see, so chocolate, peanut butter, chocolate, peanut butter, chocolate, peanut butter, and chocolate. What a wonderful combination. Okay. Akimasu. 
oh my god obnoxious right okay so I'm not really sure what the um the light brown is maybe it's a caramel I'm not sure but it's definitely chocolate maybe peanut butter the chocolate's kind of overwhelming it I'm not really sure what do you think you're like I don't know I don't know I really do have a sugar rush. I don't need this much sugar anymore. Because, uh, baby, you know? And she needs good stuff. But, oh, maybe this is like dark chocolate. It's like all organic and, um, not chocolate picked by slaves that get paid two cents a minute. Two, two cents a minute. Two cents an hour. But, anyways, it's very soft. Maybe because it's really warm in here. I'm not sure, but it's melting on my finger. <laughs> it's because I'm so hot, you know. No, but really, my body's really hot right now because it is steaming because uh, I have my AC turned off. Anyways, good stuff. I don't really know why it's good stuff. Probably because it's chocolate. But I have to say that my favorite... I mean, you know what? I bet my favorite, even though I love... Oh, of course, like, I love the wafers all equally my favorite wafer was the lemon wafer and then i also really like the drink the last drink that i had the berry drink that was actually probably my favorite so um i'm gonna pour these essential oils all over my body and i'm gonna hope that they don't burn through my skin and i'm gonna call it a day thank you so much for watching thank you so much harold for sending this to me i love chatting with you and reading your updates and everything that you send to me and keeping me informed and just overall being a good person so I hope that you're feeling well. Thank you everybody for watching. And this has been Tingle Bites Austria. I love you all. Take care.